Welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Teresa. In today's video, I'm going to give you over 40 ways, lots of inspiration and ideas on how we can repurpose this rustic rake head and use it as a unique and functional decor piece in our home. You can usually find these used rustic rake heads at either yard sales, antique stores, or thrift stores, and they usually sell between $5 to $10. Or you may already have one laying around in your outbuilding. So I hope after watching this video, you will look at a simple garden rake in a whole different way. I hope you get lots of inspiration and ideas from the video, and I hope you enjoy it. If you haven't joined my Facebook Home Decor page, I'd love for you to go over and join it. And also, go over and follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. The first inspiration idea I'm going to give you with this rustic garden rake head. And I purchased this one for $10 at a thrift, antique, consignment type store. And like I told you, you can get these anywhere from yard sales to thrift stores you know and like i say you can also have one maybe out in your outbuilding that you're not using anymore just go out repurpose it and i hope after today's video i'll give you a lot of ideas of how you can use it in your home and you can display all of your items this makes a great piece to display all your kitchen utensils. You may have a rolling pin collection. You may collect, like I do, old cheese graters, egg beaters. Whatever your kitchen utensils are and you want to display those or, you know, all those pieces that you collect, get all those out. Put them on this little hanger and it adds such a special touch in your kitchen. Another great idea for this piece is a coffee mug rack or you can hang your long stem glassware from it. This piece would make a great rustic element to your coffee bar or if you have a wine bar. This piece is so versatile. You can leave it out all year long and add any of your seasonal decor to it. This is one of my favorite ways to use this rake head, and that is to use it for an accessory in a jewelry hanger. You can hang your handbags from it, your jewelry, even your scarves.
If you like this video so far, I hope you'll hit that like button. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd love for you to. This shadow box here I did many years ago. This is all of my grandmother Louise's, some of her special things that she had always kept. And there's a letter in there that my dad wrote her when he was in the army, a pair of her old scissors that she used when she sewed. So many things that remind me of her and I just put them in a frame, like I say, many, many years ago and I've kept it this way. So another idea for you to display things that you may have, you know, in a drawer that may be sentimental memories to you, bring those out, put them in a frame, set them out. I think that will bring a lot more joy and happiness to you if you have them sitting out and you can see them in your home. If you're like me and you collect a lot of vintage top clothing or, you know, even doilies, this piece would make a great um, rack to hang up your little vintage clothes. This is a little um, dress that was mine when I was, um, you know, I guess a baby, and it's handed down to me from my mom. But you could hang your aprons from it. Again, whatever the things that you love to collect as far as, you know, the vintage clothing, and I think doilies would look really cute on this. You could even hang them on some of those little, you know, little ring hangers and hang that from it. So I think that would add a very special touch to it. Another great idea for this is you could put this rack in your bathroom and you could even hang bathroom towels on it. You could hang, you know, kitchen towels on it. You could hang your oven mitts on it. So just, just some, some more ideas because like I say, this video is going to be packed full of ideas of this garden rack. <laughs> Then the next idea is a hat rack. You know, get your hats out, your husband's caps, whatever you have. Um, you know, I collect hats. So this is a great way that you can hang your hats and it adds such a special touch to it. This is another great way to show off this little rake head. Use it as a shelf. You can set this on a table, you know, add whatever decor you want to on it. This is a little DIY of some vegetable cans I did. So I'll have links to those videos down below for anything, you know, I have DIY'd. I will leave those down for you if you want to go out and watch. But, you know, just adds that special touch. And again, Use the little rack and display your vintage dishes. I love little shabby chic floral dishes and little teacups. It makes a great way for you to display the saucers and the teacups. Now, as a wreath holder, get your little wreaths out. You know, now's a great time of the year. Spring's coming. We want to be able to display the wreaths we make. You know, this makes a great hanger to put your wreaths on. Now, we can use this to hang our ribbons and our craft supplies on. It, you know, I have a few paintbrushes that have little straps on them. You can hang your little paintbrushes on it. This is some ribbons that I have. But, you know, if you need a place to store, you know, we all sometimes, I guess, struggle with our craft supplies just getting thrown into a box or, a, you know, a bin and we have to dig through it each time. This makes a great solution for organizing your ribbons and your lace. So when you get ready to work on that next project, you, you've got it displayed really pretty. You can see what you have. And I just think it adds, you know, a lot to, to, to your space also. Now here I'm just showing you how you can pair it with, you know, if, if gardening is your hobby, you can even pair this little, little rake head with your garden supplies and just add that to, to your space also. And now, here's another great idea. Turn it upside down and make another shelf out of it. I just hung this on an old repurposed shutter that I have in my family room and I'm just giving you ideas of how when you turn it upside down, how you can display things on it as a shelf. Tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day You set my world on fire You set my world on fire 
I hope you enjoyed the video today and as always i hope you got lots of inspiration and ideas for a simple garden rake head and whether you are decorating in farmhouse style french country or possibly shabby chic i think this garden rake head would make a great piece in addition to any decor space in your home what makes this so unique is it's got natural patina you know it sets out in the elements of the weather and it's already got that rustic worn aged look to it and i think this piece would be a great conversation piece for anyone that comes into your home so i hope y'all have a great weekend and i will see y'all in my next video love y'all